Hey, Devontae, um, obviously we haven't talked to you since you uh, since since the last game. Uh, can you kind of take me through your emotions of what happened at that that fourth quarter scrummish and, uh, you know, what you were trying to do standing up with Jakeem, for Jakeem? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, the same guy hit, hit him, you know, hit him twice. And I just seen Coach Flo go out there. So then I just went out there and then, you know, the guys started swinging. So... I'm just trying to, you know, have my teammates back. That's it. That's all it is. We're, we're brotherhood. We're family. So, you know, just look out for your for your teammates. Travis? Hey, Devontae. I saw the uh, Adam Schefter tweet with the, the kid wearing the, the Uncle Vontae hospital gown. Just wanted to ask you um, how that came about and how you got involved with the Starlight Children's Foundation. Oh, yeah. You know, we want to try to do something with them uh, this this year and and it happened to turn out, it turned out, it worked, we it went through, so uh, I was able to do that, you know, just to, all right, you know, weren't able to talk to the kids, but I was able to wave them, wave, wave at them uh, through the window or something, but uh, it was a good experience, and I'll give it back, you know, give it back to the community, and uh, I look forward to doing uh, more of that with them. <clears throat> I guess just on that, that play again, do you anticipate any, you know, repercussions coming down from you. You know, have you heard about a fine or anything or any back? Well, I'm mean, yeah, I've heard supposed to probably get a fine for it, but you know, probably in the locker room, locker room waiting. But I've been in the locker room yet, so I'm not sure. Anybody else? Omar. Devonte, obviously the Chiefs. Everybody knows how much of a high-scoring offense that they are. How confident are you that you that this team can put up the points that they need to do to keep pace with Kansas City? We just have to execute our plays. You know, just take one play at a time. We don't need to, you know, we don't need to go for the, you know, big play all at once. You know, just you can get like six maybe and just keep the drive moving. So, but you know, just take one play at a time. That's all. <laughs> Adam? Hey, Devontae, it seems like your timing and chemistry with Tua have improved over the last few, uh, few weeks, a uh, few games at least. What uh, what do you attribute that to, and how do you anticipate that going from here on out? You know, I will contribute that to, you know, staying out of practice, getting throws with him, you know, getting catches, catches in with him out of practice, and <clears throat> it's something that we just have to continue doing. All right, we'll take one more, Cam. Um, you, you talk about the Chiefs and sort of this game. Obviously, uh, there's no secret they're the champs. Is there any extra, you know, motivation to sort of prove you guys, you know, are for real and, and with this type of opponent? We don't, we don't, have, we don't have extra motivation, though. We just go out there, you know, taking it one play at a time, you know, going out there and, and just executing what we, what we have to do. Hey, Zach, it's good to see you. Um, what do you think is most about the, what the Chiefs bring up as an offensive unit? You're kind of cutting out there, Mr. Joe. What did you say? What do you think is most unique about the Chiefs' offense and what they bring? Um, they're just a very versatile offense. Um, they got, obviously, they got, they're got they a great offense. They got lots of weapons, and uh, we just got to prepare accordingly. Back to Joe. When when you study uh, Mahomes and 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 how difficult it is or is not to sack him, what do you notice? Well, he's very elusive. He's uh he's very good at reading the pocket and getting out of the pocket. So um, we just got to make sure we're on top of things and we don't we keep we do what we can. Cam. I know you guys have been uh, aggressive throughout the year. How do you balance that on because a, a quarterback like Mahomes who can sort of dice a, uh, a aggressive defense at times? So yeah, um, we uh, we definitely got a game plan for this offense because they are so powerful. They got so many weapons in the edge, inside, quarterback, all that kind of stuff. So really, just uh, making sure our game plan's right and uh, doing what we can. Adam. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, piggybacking on that question, Zach. Uh, what's the challenge and 
I guess, what's the benefit of being able to get pressure with your front four, particularly up the middle? Benefit challenge is that say that question yeah, again, please? Yeah, but both, both how you know how difficult is it just to get pressure with your front four, and and what doors does that open up when you're able to do that? Okay. Yeah, you got to get pressure. I mean, obviously they got lots of guys that can burn the burn the uh, sides and get long bombs, and he's got the arm for it. Um, they uh, so you got to you got to get in there, can't let him just sit back there. Um, and that's the challenge. Make sure we get there. Don't let them extend play. Josh. Hey, Zach, the three rookie offensive linemen that, you know, that was the first time in team history, they, they've all, you know, three rookies have, have started on the line. Um, and going up against them in practice, I was wondering what are your impressions of Robert uh, Austin and, and Solomon and, um, you know, the work they did this past Sunday to, to keep two clean? Yeah, they work. Um, they uh, all throughout camp when I was here, them coming in just as rookies, they, uh, they strap up and work. So I think they definitely uh, – taking the steps they needed to do as rookies to progress and be able to protect Tua and protect the quarterback back there and uh, become a great O-line for us. Hey, Tua, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, thank you. Good, good. That was a pretty cool moment there between you and Rob. That, that surprised you. <laughs> I uh, wanted to give you an opportunity to, to shout out the, the offensive linemen, particularly, you know, the, the three rookies there. Um, what did you think of the job they did in, you know, keeping you up this past Sunday? And um, I guess uh, your thoughts on, you know, having three rookie offensive linemen there. Yeah, I think they were all chosen for, for a reason. Um, you know, I think the Miami, the Miami Dolphins coaches, um, you know, GM and Coach Flores, you know, they made those decisions, um, you know, for, for a reason. And you know, I think they did a great job. Um, you know, anytime that you can come out of a game, you know, not getting sacked, I, you know, I think that's a really great job um, from the line up front. So I think they, they're all individually different. Um, they're all, you know, wired differently. They're, they're good at different things, but um, you know, I, I think things are start, starting to come together for, for those guys up front. They're starting to communicate a lot better, um, you know, but it, it's a day-to-day -day process with us um, offensively. We just got to continue to, um, you know, work at what we need to to get the job done, and that's what we're going to do. Ruthie? Hey, Tua. Um, what comes to mind when you – Patrick Mahomes? Uh, same agent. <laughs> <laughs> we got the same agent. Um, shout out. Yeah, shout out. Um, but I – I mean, when you think of Patrick, you just think of someone who's very explosive, um, you know, generational talent. Um, I mean, he, he, he can do it all, you know, on the run, the pocket, uh, look right, throw it behind his head. I mean, <laughs> whatever you want, that guy got it. So, you know, all the respect um, in the world for, for, from me to him. Adam? Tua, you had a rough couple of weeks uh, between uh, the Broncos game and then your injury. And we talked to you last week, you seemed a little down. Maybe you're just focused on the task at hand. Um, how are you doing? How's, how's your confidence? How's your outlook? And, and, and what, did you, what did you learn from the adversity you overcame the last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, adversity has always been, been in my life. You know, from high school, college, the injuries, and then also in the NFL. I, I think that's just life. Um, I think last week uh, I was a little, I was a little down because of the way I practiced and you know, it just wasn't to the standard that I wanted to practice. Um, but yeah, you, you just, you learn from those things. And like I said before, you just, it's a continuous learning process in the NFL. Uh, you learn day to day and week to week. I mean, and there's always something new to learn because defenses are not going to stay the same day. They're going to be different, and then you also can expect some nuances uh, coming into this game too. So, Soffit, what's going on, Tua? Do you enter this game kind of feeling the need to keep pace with with Mahomes? And I want to ask you about the red zone. Do you, do you think some hurry up um, or lining up quickly at, at in the red zone could probably help you guys a little bit moving forward as well? I think we're, we're going to need to execute every time we go out there offensively. 
I don't think we need to do anything new. We just got to go out there and have all 11 guys playing and playing together and being on the same page, really. We just got to be able to go out there and execute, do that. And and in the red area, you know, I, I, I know Chan is, is you know, he, he has something really good for us. But we, we got to execute offensively. Um, I, I believe we have the plays just not executed the way we we had done in, in practice. So it's all about execution. And, you know, you, you can only take it a play at a time. And you just don't worry about, about anything else. Steve? Stu, how much easier is uh, your defense making your life with the way they've been playing? Well, I think the defense has has a big part um, of of our success as a team too. Um, you know, they they've done a tremendous job getting turnovers for us, putting us in great situations. And then you also talk about our special teams. I mean, our special teams does a great job in putting us in great situations. And really, it's complementary football we're playing out there. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, play as a team and. And yeah, I, I'd say they they definitely make make it a lot easier for us. Joe, two, I really appreciated that moment you had with Rob earlier. It was good to see some laughter, some joy. It kind of reminded me of the locker room. You know, I missed that when we're not able to see a lot of those moments between the players that happen behind the scenes. And I was thinking about how Ryan Fitzpatrick feels so comfortable in his in his assignment and his skin that he makes everyone around him feel comfortable. So my question is, in what ways are you feeling more comfortable? In what ways are you feeling more comfortable with uh, your task and, and everything around you, having some starts under your belt and, and being near the end of your rookie season now? I'd say I'm, I'm comfortable with what I'm given, whatever plays that I'm given, I'm comfortable with them. Mind you, we we talk about these things, me and Chan, we talk about what I like, talk about what I don't like. Um, I mean, we I, I have as much input as anyone else does um, in our quarterback room. And, and that's what uh, makes me feel that much comfortable to to tell Chan, you know, hey, can we run this or can we not run this? Um, so, yeah, I, I would say I, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with with what I'm given. Al? Hi, to a few minutes ago, we were talking with Andy Reid, and he was talking about some of the unconventional throws that Mahomes is able to pull off. And he said something interesting about that. He saw it as, as something that would inspire other quarterbacks to try that. And I'm wondering, how confident are you in your ability to throw those sidearm throws and some of those others? And, and how would you feel about throwing passes with your right hand? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't practice like any of those. really. <laughs> so, you know, really, I, if that, if I, if I have to make a throw, you know, sidearm, you know, then I guess that's, that's how it'll happen in the game. Things just happen so fast in the game. You almost have no time to think you just got to react a lot of the times. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's what I had to say about that. All right, time for one more. We'll go to Cam. Hey, Tula, what's up, man? Uh, Wait, before you ask this question, Cam always gets like the last question. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You tired of hearing? No, I, I I already knew you were gonna ask a question, <laughs> so I just didn't know if it was gonna come second to the last or the last. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm glad there was some anticipation. I hope I don't I don't uh, <laughs> I don't poop the bed with this one. Um, <laughs> We oh, talked, I guess, after the game about tempo and and what you guys said there. I, I watched the game back and saw you guys did more empty formations as well. I'm curious, what what about those two packages make you comfortable as a quarterback? You know, the tempo and the empty. Yeah, I, I think it 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 helps. Um, you know, just to kind of see the defense a little bit, see what the defense is is going to give us if they want to blitz or if they're checking out of a blitz into coverage. I think that helps. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think that's, that's the biggest thing, uh, really indicator formations. Jerome, nice to see you back in the house, man. 
I want, wanted to ask you about uh, Tyreek Hill and, and, the, and the crossing hills that he, the crossing routes that he uh, he often runs. Um, how much are you going to have to kind of keep an eye on him, keep an eye on whoever's on the slot to kind of slow them down um, as they're running across the field or maybe in your path? Um, yeah, so it's just the a constant communication thing as far as we just got to communicate it throughout the whole defense of who's where. Uh, you know, do we have the potential to do, you know, cross routes, whatever it is? Um, so it's, it's pretty much on a lot of us. We all have to uh, kind of alert each other and really hear each other and communicate well and uh, you know, go from there, really. Josh? Hey, Bake, what was it like in the second half, uh, you know, when Noah got in the huddle more, filling in for X, and um, where, how happy were you of a teammate to, to see that, you know, uh, he was able to, to pretty much hold it down, uh, especially considering, you know, he had some earlier struggles early in the season with Noah. Uh, yeah, you know, we were definitely happy. Uh, you know, you, well, when I practice, you know, he makes plays. He, he does the right thing. You know, he finally got his shot. And, uh, you know, we expect him to – it doesn't have to – we don't expect a drop-off. So, uh, you know, we definitely are happy for him. And uh, we know he definitely can get the job done, so. Definitely happy that he got in and um, did what he had to do. Joe, Beak, are you uh, are you? I don't know if you can be a fan of players, but are you are you a fan of anything that Mahomes does? Uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely a fan. Um, I think the one thing I'm a fan of is uh, he he's unorthodox. You know, he throws the the ball different ways. Um, he gets it out. However, he has to get gets it out. There's no set way with him. You know, he he just gets the job done, and uh, you know he's definitely fun to watch. And uh, I'm definitely excited for this Sunday to go up against him, and uh, you know, basically just have that that challenge of you know slowing him down and you know slowing all the guys they have down. So I'm definitely excited. Cam, hey Jerome, you guys have you know been successful being aggressive all year with your blitzes and whatnot. Can you still be that sort of defense against a quarterback like Mahomes and and with all the skill guys they have on the other side? Um, I, I think that's the the challenge. You know, we're going up against is, um, you know, you still want to be aggressive, but you can't be too aggressive. Uh, so yeah, that, that's just the main challenge we have, and you know, we definitely just gonna, um, you know, see how everything just shakes out, and ultimately, you know, our defense is you know built on being aggressive, so. You know, we're just going to wait till Sunday and see how it works out. Travis? Hey, Jerome. Uh, looking back over some recent weeks, you guys have done a good job of limiting the opposing team's leading receiver pretty much every week, going back for several weeks now. I'm curious, what's the key to taking away the the offense's, you know, best option? Uh, are you talking in general or this week? Uh, let's go with this week. Um, This week is <laughs> – uh, this week, it's all about, you know, playing team defense. We can't rely on one person or two guys or, you know, whatever it is. You can't just double somebody. You can't do things like that. Um, you, you ultimately have to play together. You have to alert guys if, you know, across the field. You have to pretty much just communicate and play together as a defense. The D-line has to, you know, go along with the coverage. Um, it's truly have to be, you know, team defensive game so uh, that's the challenge you have and the one thing I, you know about us is you know we all excited for the challenge and uh, you know we definitely just excited to go out there and just um, play together and everything should work out so be good. Channel 7. Hi Jerome what gives you that confidence knowing that your defense can just go out and perform this Sunday against this team where does it come from? Uh, the work we put in this whole year um, you know, whatever it is, if it's been Zoom meetings, if it's been on the field, uh, we put the work in and uh, we truly believe, you know, in the guys we have. So um, I think that's the confidence we have. We, you know, our preparation, how we go about doing things, uh, you know, it gives us that, that, uh, that confidence. So we definitely uh, should be fine. We just got to play together and it all should work out. Hey, Bake, um, 
going up against Tua and, and whenever you guys have the uh, hurry up offense in practice, um, how do you how do you think that's going to help you guys um, prep for the Chiefs? Because um, they have that as a big aspect of their game as well. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to help. You know, we've been practicing it quite a few times throughout the year. So uh, it's definitely going to help us. Um, but the main thing, we just had to communicate, um, you know, get ready, get set fast. Uh, you can't just mosey around and just think everything is it's going to happen. You really have to be intentional with what you have to do, communicate fast, and also just get the job done. So, uh, you know, we've been doing it all year, so we have a uh, little experience doing it. So we should be all right. Jerome, uh, obviously you get a little bit of tight end work too. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, how confident are you guys in what Eric Rowe has done and contributed this year in terms of tight end coverage? Oh, we're very confident. Um, you know, he, he's been proving it week in and week out. So we're definitely confident in him. Uh, you know, we're going to ask him to do a number of things. Um, so we're definitely excited, definitely believe in him. Uh, and ultimately, it's going to be a great challenge for him Sunday. Uh, last one, Cam. You mentioned challenge, uh, I guess since week, week five, the Chiefs had a number one scoring offense and you guys had a number one scoring defense, sort of good against good. Do you guys look at this as some sort of respect game, a way to show that you guys are for real against, a, you know, reigning champs? Um, I think the one thing unique about us is uh, this game is a great challenge in the sense of we're going to just see – you know, we're just going to play our best football and they're going to play their best football. And just two good teams are going to go at it, you know, and truly just go at it with each other. Uh, you know, they're coming down to us. So, um, you know, we pride ourselves on protecting our home. And um, also, this is going to be a great, great game. The atmosphere is going to be there. Uh, it's just a chance for us to go out there and play some meaningful football. So, I think that's the main thing for us. We just decided to go out there and play some games that truly mean something and uh, go out there and have fun with each other. Hi, Raekwon. I asked uh, Coach Hobby about this this week, about the potential long-term of you and Christian. Obviously, he's excited about it. Do you and Christian ever talk about forming the basis of a long-term defensive line unit here? Is that ever anything which you all talk about the future Raekwon, I think you muted yourself, bud. Oh, my bad. Y'all can y'all hear me? Yeah, we got you. Oh, but yeah, man, we just we just hope we be around each other for a long time, you know. Just I mean, we love this team, we love the defense, we love the head coach, we love like the defense coordinator, we love everything about it. So we just we just hope we be around each other just forever, for real. Joe. Hey, Raekwon, I don't know if you were on the video call, but a few minutes ago, uh, Tua and Rob Hunt were having some fun. Uh, Robert Hunt was doing his interview in the car, and Tua kind of stuck his head in. It was kind of nice to see everyone smiling and laughing because football is a serious business, and everyone's very serious. Do you, do you know a side of Tua that's, that's actually kind of funny? What, what, is, what, if anything, does he do that makes people smile? Um, I mean, he got this little weird dance he'd be doing. I actually recorded him one time doing it, but he, he got this, like, he do this dance and it's just so funny. I mean, that's just, just some little, I don't know. I don't know where he got it from. This Hawaiian thing, I guess. Travis? Hey, Raekwon, that's, that's great. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, you've, you and Coach Hobby have talked about you kind of coming along and playing better, you know, the second half of the season. I'm curious from your perspective, like what's next? What can you do to take your game to another level here at the end of the season? Um, just keep working, keep processing, you know, just keep learning my playbooks and uh, just stay ahead of the game. That's about it for me. Cam? So I, I guess piggybacking off that, can Tua dance? And if so, who's yeah, – He got who, some moves. He got who, some moves. How does he rank on as far as best dancers on the team? Uh, I don't know. I, I got Bate. I got Bate. Bate, Bate probably be the best dancer on the team right now. Josh? Hey, Rick, what about playing the, the world champs brings out the best in you? And um, I mean, they, I mean, they just 
last year they just won the Super Bowl. So, I mean, they're a great team, great offense, great defense. Um, I'm very um, familiar with Chris Jones. I worked with him during the offseason. I mean, um, a great group of guys. Alan? Uh, hey, Raekwon. Uh, Raekwon, being unusually tall for your position, how often do you have to remind yourself or how often are your coaches reminding you to stay low, stay low, stay low? Um, um, not all the time, but you know, sometimes I can, I can, I can pop up. I mean, I'm six, seven, so sometimes I get high, but I just, I just try to, you know, stay low and, um, uh, do the best I can, <laughs> but it's hard though. I will take two more, Adam. Uh, Raekwon, you played in games at the highest level of the level of football that you played previously in college football. What, what does it take to win a big game where everybody's watching and all the pressure's on? Um, just everybody just focus and everybody together. Um, defend a deep part of the field, communicating and um, sending the edge and tackling. You know, that just that's where to start. Cam? You guys have faced, uh, I guess, a few good quarterbacks this year, but I guess, you know, Patrick Mahomes is unique. Uh, when you watch him, what stands out about, you know, what he does and, and maybe what, what issues he might give you guys on Sunday? Uh, he's a he's a very he's just accurate, you know, with his throws. He's quick. He can get it out real fast. He get it out hot, and um, you know, it just he's fun to watch, man. He he make unbelievable throws. It'd be just crazy how he just make them throws. But it's just nice quarterback, you know. It's crazy. I'm gonna play Pat Malone. 